You know, tonight we've learned that a woman injured in that dairy farm fire there in Castro County in Demet last week has been released from the hospital because she was trapped inside the Castro County facility when it exploded, killing thousands of cattle. Today our Jaxie Pigeon caught up with Texas Agriculture Commissioner Sid Miller to talk about the incident. And Jaxie, through some digging, you've learned a little more about that farm, right? Well, South Fork Dairy is in Castro County, like you said, which is the second highest milk producing county in the state, having more than 59,000 cows before this tragedy. Texas is also the nation's fourth largest milk producer. But Commissioner Miller says even a livestock loss of this magnitude will not disturb grocery store prices since most of that milk produced was turned into powder and exported. This is a kind of a freak accident. We've never had anything like this. It's been over a week since the dairy farm fire and explosion in Dimmit injured one employee and took the lives of nearly 18,000 cattle. Texas Agriculture Commissioner Sid Miller says it was the most cattle ever lost to a fire in state history. Of course, it's very un unfortunate. This was a state of the art dairy barn, climate controlled. Cows had their own mattresses. I mean, it was a really nice place, less than three years old. Of course, we, we had a tremendous loss there. State fire marshals ruled that the fire at South Fork Dairy was accidental, saying it was caused by a malfunctioning piece of equipment used on a daily basis, confirming no evidence of foul play. Some type of hydraulic fluid caught fire. The dairy hand tried to put it out for fire extinguisher, couldn't get it there and it, it just rolled through the whole barn in less than five minutes. Commissioner Miller says the cleanup for that many dead animals will take time, but there are some plans in the works. Disposal has been a problem. Finally got permission from the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality to bury those animals. In 2019, Texas allowed South Fork Dairy to more than double the number of cattle from 11,500 to up to 32,000, while also increasing its manure production by more than 50%. Some facilities stockpile manure to create more methane. There's tons of manure being generated by these cows. All of that manure at one point is either liquefied or it's put into these like giant, basically mountains of poop or manure. Uh, and then they want to prevent oxygen from coming into contact with that manure to keep it wet. Clean Energy Fuels Corporation says it recently broke ground on a renewable natural gas, or RNG, facility at South Fork Dairy, with plans to produce 2.9 million gallons of RNG per year when it's complete. Biogas facilities use methane from livestock manure and turn it into RNG. Methane, as most people know, is highly toxic. It's also highly flammable. So when you see something like giant explosion, nearly 20,000 cattle being killed, that immediately sets off alarms. The State Commission on Environmental Quality says South Fork Dairy is not authorized to operate an RNG system. Commissioner Miller says it's important to understand what went wrong so it can be avoided in the future. It's never happened before. Uh, we'll get to the bottom of it and, and make sure that we're prepared uh, to eliminate the possibility of it ever happening again. And Commissioner Miller says the cows outside of the barn that survived the tragedy are being cared for at another dairy barn close by. This is still an open investigation, so we'll keep you updated as we learn more.